So we are back, number 11. And this is the, I don't know what they're doing. I guess they're just clapping their ass off. They're fucking clapping their ass off, man. Why? Because they fucking hurt the headbanger. And if you're new to baby metal, maybe you will not know why the people are so excited. But they are. I'm, I'm spitting. That's how excited I am. And I'm sitting in little Denmark. Mind you. I'm just waiting for them to stop yelling because I'm paying my respect. I'm not going to stop the track. Actually, this is still in the last video. It still runs. So this is... This is two videos. You can actually put them over each other. This is the end of the part 10 and the beginning of the 11. Are you ready? I'm sorry, I am so... Uh, what do you call that? Funny. For some people, I am not funny, I guess. Maybe for some, I hope. I'm not trying to be funny, just a little bit. Also serious. But who cannot get a little giggly inside listening to this great music? It kind of rejuvenates you. It, uh, I don't know if you know that, but I'm almost 53, I think. Yeah. I but when I listen to Baby Missile, I don't feel like I'm 53. I feel like I'm, I don't know, 35. <laughs> That's the opposite. You get the joke. No, younger. Hey, let's just introduce this, man. That was too quick. Get your fucking act together. The one. Is there a more important number in the history annals of baby metal? I don't know. Not in my world. This is the bloom de Badande. This is the love letter to the one and if you don't know it we are all the one so it's very beautiful it's a very beautiful gesture maybe it's the most beautiful gesture any band have ever made to their fans that's a really you will you almost want to do this I'm not tight now that would be this but you know what I mean yeah we are we are anti this some of us Mostly this is just fun and games. Don't don't listen to all the hype. But now we're talking the one. Can you listen to this? This sounds like some DC or Marvel movie just starting, you know. Tells you. Yeah, this is the one. This is the sound from the one coming together. In a beautiful way. So let's just enjoy.
there is only one. One.
I don't know. It's just, it just felt like a gunslinger at the last point. Because all that, all that fucking banging on the drum, you know. On my fantasy drums. We're going to stop it right here because this is the intro to our, our very last video, number 12, Road of Resistance. Yes, and we will wait with that, man, because it just took two in a row. That was a two for a tenner. Not even kidding, because Headbanger was number 10. And that was our little, you know, Jubileum. And then I thought, time is time. I'm on my way to to literally a Metallica concert in a few days. That's just day one. And uh, yeah, Metallica. Yeah, hell. Yeah, hell, Metallica. Man, it's gonna. That's, that's the opening. That's the Wednesday. That's the. Yeah, man. Hey. And our first big act is. Yeah, Metallica. Let's give it up. Yeah. Climb on my big fat knee. No, that's not Metallica. Steed. If we're gonna ride, gonna. That's that's tenacious. I'm sure I remember. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I know we're a lot of Metallica. Metallica. What's not? What's not to like? Especially the early Metallica. Jesus Christ. But that was our little, little, two for ten, as I said, headbanger. Previous video by now. And the one, Jesus Christ. And what a beautiful way to start the, the weekend. I can still manage to make the last one tomorrow, Road of Resistance. That's my last day in, in this town for a while, a week. Yeah, I'm gonna come home every day or someone will. Yeah, it's not gonna be empty. I'm not that stupid, saying I'm leaving an empty, you know, apartment. If that was the fact, I wouldn't mention it. So, yeah. The one... Let's just make a quick footnote. Jesus Christ, what a great version. That's maybe... I think this is my favorite version I own so far. Many of them are concerning versions. But this one is kind of stands out more to be a favorite than let's say papaya oh I don't know let's just leave it leave it there but you know what I mean I hope because in this one we really get to hear some more of Sue Mitchell's voice and I think also uh, the fact in this version that you can really hear she's not a, a preteen no more almost she's she's not even a teenager no more she's 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 really grounded by now and that that is is very clear for me at, at least in my ears that that sounds like a pro singing she did that day one, but now she sounds like a grown-up pro singing. And that's also beautiful. And have some more finesse, some more tones to put in. That's uh, that's uh, that's obvious. And also do the music. The music, ha music uh, I, I heard during the tracks, the previous videos, in including this one, that they really uh, toyed with, with the uh, material material during the years, you know, they tweaked it, they give it some extra punch here and there, and I really dig that, and uh, yeah, I forgot the headbanger lesson, number one, I was going back to, circling back to, because then the, the one started and so on and so, but uh, yeah, the headbanger lesson, there's a reason they 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 have this you know that that iconic you know the the neck brace or what you call it uh, because back in early back in the days there were lots of stories about younger people getting hurt by head banging so I guess this is this is no joke 
with the brace, you know, at all. It's, it, it is like a, a... Remember to not break your neck. Because that's that's a bummer. Then you do, won't be listening to the rest of the, the show. Of course. Double bummer. Just kidding. So yes, that's it, man. That is it. Yeah. Let's just let's just cut cut the the tape while we are rolling. I was about to say, but yeah, yes, yeah, man. So any any goddamn any goddamn who, if you're wondering about the T-shirt and if it reminds you of Star Wars in some way, I don't know if you can see it, but it is Jay and Silent Bob. And they're striking back. One of my favorite comedies. And uh, yeah. The funny thing about the ones. We have lots of ones. Wrestling got one. You know. The bloodline. That's one. We the one. We the fox got one. But in my version. Even, even the ones from wrestling. A part of that one. You know what I mean? I really believe in the one in that way. Not as the total answer to everything. I also think in that one we still have individual souls, so to speak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bye now. Thank you for watching. Do Maragato. Have a great, what is it, Friday?